Square one. Back to square one. Back of the police car. Say hi to your dad. Yeah. Yeah, it has a like ten second delay. Shit was a good dude. So you don't play off. Of it. the best. Take care of you too. What? Yeah. Thank God you're okay. I was like hell I am here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside the van and uh, Chet. You're gonna drop something killed. on my foot? And no. Cut You're kidding. What? Those Where? things got him. Right Dad, I don't Fucking know what's going on. Ugh. I'm sorry, Sean. It fucking hurts, dude. <laughs> You've brought a couple guests. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey. Do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. You saved my ass. Why uh, would you do yeah. that? It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. That has to be weird, do you, folks? You have to, like... Rely on fucking random ass people. Let's have a look. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. You know, I know they always say that like, things would be really bad in the city when like the outbreak happens, but I, fell, trying to get away from one of those I think it would be really bad right, like so at first for like the first initial of part of the outbreak, the seen? but then like completely dissipate. <clears throat> I don't think so, dude. Kidney ass? Yeah, dude, it's highly populated area, dude. Well, Who yeah, knows? but the zombies would, like, go other places to look for food or... They they still it. just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there, and we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um... Looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. How long is this for something? What happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. I think I'm almost done. Unless you die like eight times like you did. Whatever, dude. Sleeping it on hay. It smells like. Done that. That'd be weird. I know what it smells like. Duty. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. What did this guy do? I don't get it. Like, why? No, oh, I just want to know now. Hey, get up. Ugh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. 
That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. <laughs> on the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Building fences suck. Well, I, I built can two keep in an my eye life, your little and they were horrible. The we can they came it. out good, but they were horrible to build. No. Like digging the post, that's fucking sucks. <laughs> that's the worst. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Uh... Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see so people hard? eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Is there a faster way to run? Or is there a way to run? Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. The government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, Whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. Long as I keep her safe. I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. See you. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... Sean's still working on that fence. 
Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, Dan. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah, for sure. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I'd follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife. Uh, not anymore. Uh, I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! <laughs> I thought that the... Uh, charge.